hot day. Got my rain out here. I got to be quick. But as you can see, there's two trash bins but no recycling bin. So I'm going to continue this somewhere else. My computer doesn't have the best mic on it, so I kind of have to scream just a little bit for you to hear what I'm saying. But what I was saying outside is that we have access to two trash bins on campus, but there's no recycling bins available for the students who live in the dorms. So for the past four years with me living on campus at the schools I attend, I really haven't been doing much recycling. For my project, I decided to focus on the amount of water bottles that I throw away because I don't have access to the trash bin near my house. Beginning of February, I've been keeping a log on my phone of the amount of water bottles that I've been collecting. So you really couldn't see it that well on my phone, but on the log, I've been keeping track of the amount of water bottles I count and then the day that I count them. So in order to keep track of the bottles, I used a permanent marker and just labeled the number that the bottle was in the collection. So for example, my 16th bottle, I would put the number 16 on the bottle and then I placed it in the corner right here. Try to pan it down a little bit so you can see. These represented all the counted bottles that I have, as well as on my um, table over here. I keep a stack of the bottles that I haven't counted yet that I will. What I would do is just use a permanent marker. This isn't a permanent marker. Sorry, I don't know. I've misplaced it right now. I use a permanent marker, and I mark on it the water bottle number and the amount, and add it to this pile over here. My goal with this project was to see the amount of water bottles that I just throw away without even thinking about it because I don't have easy access to a recycling bin. So what I'm going to do with these water bottles at the completion of this video is take them to a recycling bin and then properly dispose of them. I'm going to try to find a big recycling area that I can take all these bottles to and throw them away just inside the plastic bag since they can be recycled as well. So I kept track of water bottles I kept as well as tin cans and, and I also kept track of plastic containers I had like what uh, packaged water bottles come wrapped in. I know those are recyclable as well so I would count them. I did, however, realize while doing this, I should have kept track of the amount of actual water bottles I had, tin cans I had, and plastic packaging, but I kind of just combined them all in one. That's something that if I was doing this type of project in the future, I would definitely control for as well. All right, I never got around to recording a bottle count last night, so I'm going to do one right now. These are the bottles right here, so if I look at my phone, and the last log I made was on April 21st, and I had 436 bottles, so this one is going to be 430. Seven. Put it to the side. Four thirty-eight. Side. Four thirty-nine. Four fifty. All right. So after this count, I'm now at four fifty-five bottles. So what I'll do is I write four fifty-five bottles in my notes, and then the date, which today is April twenty-third. So within Garbology, they had a list of American annual waste. And one of the bullet points mentioned that we waste about 35 billion plastic bottles every year. In an article by, and I might be pronouncing this wrong, Beskutsi, Hubber, and Bell, they state that there's 14 states in the U.S. right now that have laws requiring a mandatory recycling plan or provide an opportunity for residents to recycle. 15 states right now require like, some type of development of a recycling plan, and then there are six states who have no specific goals for recycling. That leaves 15 states in America that have no actual plan for recycling at all. Also in that article, they stated 68% of the population have no social norm feelings towards recycling, which means people don't feel social pressures to recycle, which could also result in other people around them not recycling themselves. Also in Garbology, they showed a little small graph of the percentages of landfill waste, recycling compost waste, and right now 24% of our waste is recycled in comparison to the 69% that just lays in landfills. As I realized that it's unnecessary to have so much plastic. I went out and I bought a gallon container for my water and I just started to refill that more so than just to keep buying bottled water. My next step with this is to buy a uh, water filter so that I can keep filling my gallon water bottle up to reuse and fill it up with tap water to be filtered and use that instead of... Well, this project showed me how much of a hassle plastic bottles can be my uh, living room in my dorm has just become a hodgepodge for these water bottles that I've been collecting. It didn't have to be if I was more conscious of the amount of plastic that I use. Within that article, they also mentioned 42% of the population also consider themselves as environmentalists. It takes more than just saying that you're an environmentalist to actually be one. Sorry, I meant to say that in the last clip I recorded, but the audio got messed up, so I had to re-record it. Also, I was planning on getting some footage of me throwing away the bottles in the recycling bin, 
But uh, I started doing this on my laptop, so it was really hard to try to hold my laptop and throw the bottles away. So I'm going to have to do that off of the video. As well as I wanted to show you the gallon water bottle that I had bought. It's empty right now because I need to get some more water. The biggest lesson I pulled from this project is I waste a lot of plastic not even realizing it because I'm just getting bottled drinks. I did another count from when I posted on the video. Bottle total now is at 547. It's a lot. And it's only been since February 5th that I really started collecting the bottles. What the article, the article I read was, was touching on a little bit is that the different type of motivations people have towards recycling. What it was shown is the more socially acceptable and the more, not so much socially acceptable, but the more common it is for people to recycle, the more people will actually continue to do it. And not just recycling one time because you see it, but recycling all the time. And I also feel like doing this project helped me make that transition as well because I was going from only recycling when a recycling bin was close to me to now after I'm seeing how many bottles I have from just myself, I will be adding over half a thousand bottles of excess plastic to waste. It's not even just about recycling the plastic as well. It's also learning that I don't need to use all this plastic. All these water bottles that I have, even these, like I have, I usually keep like, but it's no need to do that when I can just get a refillable container to use one time. Gran granted, this is plastic itself, but I'm not going to throw this away after a one time use. It is reusable. And I've had this for about a month now, and it's doing quite fine. I'm going to make a more conscious effort about my recycling habits. Even just one person in myself, how much of an impact I make on plastic waste.